D, you shouldn't do this. Ollie, it's Roy. You see, the real question is, who do I gotta bring the pain to? Where are you guys keeping my suit? Speedy, get out of there! Hey everybody, it's Charlie, and Roy Harper is back finally. He gets wrecked in this episode. Just looking at some of these preview images, it looks like he's just going to get raked over the coals by Richard Dragon's men. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. There's a schedule update for the DC TV episodes in the next couple of weeks. So we'll talk about that at the end of the video because they just came back from a break, but they're going on another break after next week's episode. I know it's a little weird, but the description for the Roy episode just reads, Oliver and Thea are shocked. They're shocked that Roy Harper is back in Star City. However, when they discover the circumstances of Roy's return, Oliver and Thea realize that Roy is in trouble and jump to save him. Black Siren makes a shocking decision, which we kind of saw at the end of last week's episode. Like she's going to be impersonating Earth One Laurel Lance, the most famous dead person in Star City, according to Stephen Amell earlier this year when he was interviewed about this. So a couple of really big things. I mean, everybody's just really happy to get Roy back, but obviously they made a couple of big moves behind the scenes and it implies what's going to be happening with Black Siren's character in the future if Black Canary doesn't throw her off a cliff. I believe episode 15 is the only Roy Harper episode. Stephen Amell did say that there was a special guest star for episode 18 and he didn't want it to be announced because it was supposed to be a big surprise, but he was kind of worried that the network was going to spoil it ahead of time by publicly announcing them. I don't know who that character is, but it does sound like it might wind up being someone from one of the other DC TV shows. But because there's going to be like a two week break after next week's episode, it's going to be a while before we see that. But I think your enjoyment of this past week's episode, episode 14, just hinges on your ability to believe the actions of the characters so far. Quentin earning his kidnapper badge and taking Black Siren to that cabin in the woods, and then police detective Black Canary wanting to commit first degree murder. Like I'm going to hunt her down, then scream in her face till her brains turn to jelly, just like she did to Vigilante. There was a really big Birds of Prey Easter egg because now you have Black Siren versus Black Canary. So, of course, there's probably going to be a couple of Birds of Prey Easter eggs. The name Black Siren used when she went to withdraw that money from the bank was Sue Jerk Jai. That means Little Bird. It's from Birds of Prey issue number one. So I'm expecting more Birds of Prey Easter eggs as we continue this Black Canary versus Black Siren arc. Because Katie Cassidy is going to stay on the show. So obviously they're going to keep going at each other. Another really big thing is that she's going to be impersonating Earth One Laurel that the entire city knew about when she died at the hands of Damien Dark. That's why Stephen Amell was saying that she's the most famous dead person in Star City. She was held up as an example for why the city's gone to shit and why it's so dangerous to become a vigilante. Because if you're not fully prepared, like you haven't gone through all of your paces before you hit the streets, you're going to wind up dead. The blowback from that is something that we're going to find out about over the next couple of episodes. Like Stephen Amell was just teasing, like, wouldn't that be interesting if she were to come back into the limelight, the Earth One version of Laurel? Like, how would people deal with that? But obviously, we as the audience know that it's really Black Siren masquerading as her. So the whole idea is, is like, will she just continue to keep up this facade? If there really is a path to redemption for her character, depending on whether or not you believe that based on the scene she's had so far, like it really does sound like she doesn't totally care about Quentin, but like a little part of her does. Otherwise, she would have killed him already. There was that whole scene where they talked about her daddy issues. We know a little bit about her backstory on Earth, too. Like her version of Oliver is dead. Her version of Quentin was a worse version of our Quentin. She just lived a much harder life, which has driven her to do the things that she's done. There was also that wild dog Mr. T reference. I pity the fool. He literally calls Mr. Terrific Mr. T. You got us back on track, Mr. T. <laughs> I pity those fools now. I know there were a lot of questions earlier this year and last year about Roy Harper possibly being a character during Titans season one, but they haven't said anything official about that. Like they're still in the middle of shooting Titans episodes and they've really only revealed a handful of characters like the Doom Patrol, Brother Blood, Church of Blood. 
They haven't made any official announcements about Roy Harper, Donna Troy, or any of the other bigger Titans comic book characters that they hope to introduce in future seasons. So Colton Haynes seems like he's mostly busy filming TV in Los Angeles, and they filmed Titans in Toronto. So I think unless there's a big change or they use him for like a super big arc during season two, if they do Roy Harper, they'll probably recast the character. But I don't think it's going to be a really big issue. Like when it comes to crossover characters, like Deathstroke and his family are big Teen Titans characters. Obviously, the Titans TV show will use some of them at some point. But Arrow spent all these years developing Manu Bennett's version of the character. I don't think the Titans is going to be using Deathstroke anytime soon. So it's like, you know, the characters that already exist in the Arrowverse, I don't think there's going to be a lot of duplication right out of the gate. So, like, you're mostly going to be seeing brand new characters. Like, the Doom Patrol is the best example of that. We've never seen a live-action version of them on the Arrowverse. And you have to remember that Jeff Johns is the person that everybody goes to when they want to use a big comic book character. And Jeff Johns is co-writing the Titans TV show. So he's the guy that knows which shows are using which characters so for the most part they try to keep from stepping on each other's shows only after arrow or a couple of the other shows go off the air do i think that they're going to free up some of the big comic book characters to go on to titans so as we get more information about that i'll just do new videos don't worry there's going to be a lot of titan stuff happening later this year but that series won't premiere till like the very end of the summer so you don't need to worry about too much of that right now so just a reminder about the Arrowverse episodes. So actually, I'm looking at a different schedule here, and it tells me what's going on with The Flash, too. So both Arrow and The Flash are brand new next week. Like, we have the Enter Flash Time, Flash Family episode. Then it gets a little bit weird. So right after next week's Arrow episode, the Roy episode, Arrow goes on break for two weeks. The Flash goes on break for one week after episode 16. So next week, there's a new Flash episode, episode 15. Then we get episode 16 of The Flash the week after that. Then The Flash goes on break for, it looks like maybe just one week. Then that very last week in March, everything comes back. Then I believe for the rest of the seasons, they finish airing all their episodes with no breaks. And then when Legends ends its run, that Monday night slot goes back to Supergirl. So if you watch Supergirl, you're wondering where that is. It'll come back after Legends finishes airing its episodes and just air right into the summer. So Supergirl will go a little later into the summer because it's been on break for so long. But that's about it. I'll be doing bonus videos while stuff is on break, just like I did when it was on break during the Olympics. So don't worry. They're just going on a production hiatus. It's just because the last batch of episodes is really special effects heavy for all the TV shows, so they need extra time to finish the episodes, which is why they build in this production break. Congratulations to the latest giveaway winner, Timothy Adams. Please private message me so I can get your contact details. Click here for that Flash Teen Titans Easter egg from this past week, and click here to learn about all those big Infinity War things that they announced last night. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.